Hello everyone, welcome to this special exclusive product feature in theCUBE studios here in Palo Alto. We have this first look at Tammy Zhu's new company's Kika Technologies product announced at CES. Super exciting, Kika Go. Tammy, you guys have some exciting news announced at CES. What do you have, to, what are you guys announcing? We're very excited. And as you, you can tell, I can hardly contain <laughs> the excitement. Uh, 2017 had been a tremendous year, right? Building the headquarters, hiring the colleagues, and winning some of the top sports and entertainment partnerships. And most importantly, we won not only one, not two, but four CES awards. That's a big thing. They hand out awards very carefully at CES. Yes. You guys have a new product announcement here. I think I love it a lot. I want you to explain it in detail. Take a minute to describe the Kika Go product. What is it? What, what does it mean for people and, and, and the marketplace? Right, so Kika Go is a solution, hard, a com combination of hardware and software solution that enables drivers to communicate 100% hand-free. And currently in the market, there's no such solution. And you could argue, say, hey, Siri or Google could help you with that. However, I challenge you to give it a try. And pretty soon you'll find out that somewhere you need to press a button or you, you need to use your hand or the speaker cannot hear you very clearly, right? The noise cancellation doesn't work very well. But our product works fabulously for so the what is So how does it work? Do I install it? Do I buy it? Does it come with the car? Does it plug in? How does it work? Right. How does someone use this product? We haven't dis decided on the business model yet. Uh, however, there could be different ways, right? Uh, con individual consumers could buy them from online or from retail stores, or for example, Uber drivers could get it from Uber so the distribution, as a device. There's, very, there's a variety of distribution mechanisms. But the value proposition is that the user can convey, communicate from their car when they're driving or in a car. Without, yeah, with hands-free, hands so their hands can be on the steering wheel. And words, what do they right? do? They can text, they can just say, hey, send an email. They can not, yeah, not only text, but also receiving messages and also providing directions, right? Say, for example, uh, you're calling your, your wife is calling you, right? And say, hey, John, where are you? And you're busy driving, mm -hmm. right? Kikago will be able to reply to your wife saying, well, John is Stuck on one-on-one traffic. It's yeah, <laughs> near uh, Embarcadero exit mm -hmm. of 101. Yep. Right, and specifically, this is the location. So this is just one of the um, many So examples. I could literally talk to other people in other cars, say, you know, I have, I have with the kids in one car, Linda's driving, the other kids in the other car, She, I can talk to her directly, car to car? Yes, not only that, but also Kikago knows who is talking, right? Say, for example, you and your passenger, you're both talking, but you are the only one who needs, uh, uh, who, who needs to communicate, right? Uh, Kikago can tell, wow, that's John's voice. I'm going to communicate John's voice or John's message to the recipient, so you know, not uh, other. If the distribution could be from whoever finds value and do like Uber drives makes sense or uh, buying it online, is it a product device I hang on my dashboard or is it, do I have to connect it to my car? How, do, how does that work? It's a very good question. Matter of fact, you don't have to hang in front of the dashboard. It is a charger. It looks like a charger, except it's a smart charger with microphones in it. So it doesn't really take up much space. It's not like dangling all around. It's not like a mm. bigger product. So about how big is it? It's it's a line. Mm -hmm. So you, know, you need to charge your phone anyways, mm -hmm. right, in car. So yeah. typically, however you charge your, f your phone, you use our mm -hmm. charger line mm -hmm. and then plug in your phone. That's it. So it integrates to the phone, so it's like not a big disruption to the user experience. Not at all. But matter of fact, it, this is something you feel very familiar with in the past already. Okay, so you guys are bringing in AI. Kika Tech already has success on the AI side. Um, we've talked about that before. Um, but this now introduces a new Internet of Things capability. IoT certainly not as hyped up from a name standpoint as AI, mm -hmm. but is it the fastest growing interest area. Industrial IoT, which is IIoT, and then you got IoT, which is Internet of Things. This is new kind of car autonomous vehicle right, kind of thing. Is that is there more behind this? Uh, right now, <laughs> right, the, the, our number one step really is to work out our uh, voice recognition with, with the software as well. So we talked about you know, before that we have large volume training data from the keyboard product, right? And based on the keyboard, we build a 
very accurate voice recognition technology. The matter of fact, that's the only solution that works very well inside the cars, because you don't see people bring their Amazon Echo or Google Home right inside yeah. the car. Number one is uh, it's large, and number two is not mobile. And number three is that it can't handle the noise cancellation very well, whereas our product addresses all these concerns. Okay, Kika Go announced at CES. Congratulations. What should people know about Kika Go? What can they expect? Give you the final word. Um, yeah. So during its announcement uh, in January, and we're launching in April, so meaning that it's the product is going to be available in April. Awesome. In the United States. Tammy Liu, general manager of Kika Tech, announcing Kika Go here. Exclusive preview inside the Cube announced at CES. I'm John Furrier. Check out Kika Go and uh, uh, more more coverage of CES certainly will be on the SiliconAngle.com and the Cube. Tammy Liu, thanks for coming in and sharing that news. Thank you, John. All right, thanks for watching. Cube Conversation here in Palo Alto. I'm John Furrier. See you next time.